Of the nine worship styles for kids, a child that leans toward the contemplative style is likely a very loving child and maybe even has sensed God's love for them. They might spend a lot of time thinking and can easily imagine God as a friend. But how can you encourage your child to a deeper understanding of the love of God? <laughs> Hi, I'm Christy Thomas, the Bedtime Devo Mama. Look, Mommy, I made a journal. My six-year-old son thrust several sticky notes in my face. On each page, he had drawn hearts around a word. One page had the word God in the middle, another had the word nature, and still another family. This boy has a deep sense of the love of God for others. A philosopher named James K.A. Smith says that humans are not fundamentally thinking beings. We're not even primarily believing beings, but at our core, he wrote, we are defined fundamentally by love. So schools, teachers, and churches that try to change people by giving them information fail to address the core issue. We become what we love. The Apostle John understood this. He spent most of 1 John talking about God's love and how it should form our lives. But how can our kids understand God's extravagant love for them? You can help any child learn to contemplate God's love a little deeper by sharing an ancient prayer called the Jesus Prayer. It's very simple. You simply say this, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. That's the whole prayer. The purpose of this prayer is to practice the presence of God, to remind yourself that Jesus is with you, He is Lord, and that He loves you and gives you mercy. The prayer was first written down by Abba Philemon, a monk from the 6th century. This simple prayer is one way to learn to pray continually, as Paul urges in 1 Thessalonians 5.17. When teaching it to your child, you can encourage them to breathe in as they say, Lord Jesus Christ, and breathe out as they say, have mercy on me. Another simple prayer you can teach your kids is to breathe in and think, God loves me, and breathe out while thinking, I love God. Some kids will more naturally be drawn to this sort of thoughtful practice. These children may lean toward a more contemplative worship style. The heart of the contemplative is all about loving God. If you're looking for a simple book that emphasizes God's love, I recommend Rick Warren's God's Great Love for You. It's very short, but deep. I recommend it for preschool age kids because it's so short, but everyone can use a reminder of God's great love, right? When my seven-year-old son read it, he grinned from ear to ear the whole time. I asked him what he liked about it and he said, that God's love never ends and he loves you on good days and bad days every millisecond of your life. Now that's a message I want my kids to internalize. You can ask your local Christian bookstore to bring in God's great love for you, or I'll also leave an Amazon link below. This video was specifically about the contemplative worship style, but did you know there are actually nine worship styles for kids? I have a downloadable quiz that you can take which will help you determine which of the nine worship styles your child leans toward. The link is in the video description, so go grab it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe on YouTube or like my Facebook page so that you'll get notifications when new videos are up. Each one contains short, sweet, hope-filled ideas for spiritually parenting our kids.